Welcome to another edition of How To K2. Today we're going to be talking about integrating a InfoPath form that contains code behind into your K2 and SharePoint processes. Let's start off by taking a look at the InfoPath form itself. As we open it in design mode, you can see it's that regular InfoPath form with various fields and such, but I've added a button that will print that view to a PDF form. Now it will print that and save it as whatever is in the name field which is up here. There we go. Now it'll save it as that file name so let's go ahead and preview this and test it out. As I type in a basic name here, Joe Smith, print to PDF, it will go ahead and export that, or print it. Let's go to our C drive where I've told it to save it and there it is you can see just as I clicked on it to print. Now that we have our InfoPath form we need to build our process around it. So we'll drag our InfoPath integration onto our canvas and add that workflow template that we just saved. Now there's this part where we do something slightly different. When we specify our publishing path we don't give it the path to SharePoint. We give it a new file name and put that somewhere. So we'll go ahead and do that and then finish our wizard. We would build the process out as normal at this point. Now we can zoom ahead to our completely built process. Once we do that, we need to deploy this process just like we normally would any other K2 process, whether it be InfoPath with code behind or not. So let's go ahead and deploy that. Walk through the wizard as normal. and we'll now see that deploy start and then succeed. There we go, it's completely deployed. At this point we need to go do another thing with our InfoPath form that we published previously. So let's go ahead and open that. What we're going to do here is actually publish this form or rather prepare it for uh, administrator upload. So we'll go ahead and publish and walk through this wizard that InfoPath provides. So we're going to publish this to a SharePoint server, which is the form server. We'll give it that URL. In this case it's moss.denelix.com and we'll go next. Now one of the things to point out here is this is prepping for an administrator approved template. Now we're going to give it a file name that we're going to use, which is just the normal file name. We don't need to add any columns in this case. Another thing to point out is that the security level is full trust and that's important with code behind. And there we go, that's done. Now that we've got our process deployed and our InfoPath form prepared, we need to go into Central Administration and actually upload this form template to SharePoint. So let's go ahead and manage the form templates and upload the form template. You can browse for that and point it right to where we published it before. There we go open and upload. There, once we know that's complete, the last piece we need to do is go back to that form template in the manage screen and publish that out to our actual site URL. So we'll activate this to our site collection. And there's our site URL that we were working with and select OK. There we go, that's complete. The last thing we need to do now that we have enabled that form in this site collection is go to our form library that will use this form and prepare it for use there. So we'll go to that form library, go to settings and form library settings and go to advanced settings 
and enable the management of content types. And we can display this as a web page for forum services. Now we need to add this as a content type to this forms library. So we'll go ahead and find it. And there it is, the published. That's what we called it. So we'll add that to the content types and select OK. Now this form library should now be associated with that form and should be able to be used very easily. Now that we've done all this work for the form, let's see it in action. Go to New and Published and fill in some basic information just like we were filling out in a normal InfoPath form. Fill in the information, sales meeting as a purpose, give the name as Mike Talley. We'll make him a senior manager and make his department IT. Give him a generic ID number, an email address, etc. And put his manager as Holly Anderson. And give her a generic email address. Now we can add our expense item, since that's the purpose of this form. and go ahead and submit that. As you can see, it was submitted successfully, and now K2 is integrated, that process and that form. Now the manager needs to approve this and use the print to PDF functionality. So he'll open it from his task item, and in this case, uh, the actual InfoPath client. So he can take a look at the expense report itself, make a decision, and then print it to PDF for his reference. In this particular case, he's doing that to his C drive, but that can be really anywhere. I've just done it in, in this particular example. It's much easier from the code perspective. So we'll go to his C drive and open that. And we can see there's the Mike Talley.pdf, and it's exactly like he had done, including the approved decision down at the bottom. So there may be times when you want to take this one step further and actually integrate that saving to PDF into your process. So I've decided to, to show you how you may want to be able to do that. I've taken this same process and added another document event to it. So as we walk through this document event, you'll see how I'm using that. I want to upload a document from the file system and give it that location where I'm saving it. Now that could be a network drive as well. And then using the name, uh, the variable there, and moving on to a specific document library, assigning it some metadata that's from the form itself, and now it'll actually put that in a new forms library. And if I go to that forms library, you can see that I actually have one in there. I didn't show you walking through the process, but you get the idea. And there we go, another one from Holly, uploaded to that document library from the PDF generation. That'll do it for another round of How To K2. For more information and some help on this, go to the following websites you see on your screen.